I just unrolled 100 meters, 300 feet of poly pipe, two inch, without machinery, managed to unroll it. If you're interested in knowing how, stay tuned and I'll show you. G'day, how you doing? It's Mr. Wild here at Wild Ostetting. Today, I'm gonna to attempt something. Will it succeed or will I fail? Only time will tell. So, enjoy. So my theory is, plonk this star picket here in the ground. I'm going to secure this end to the star picket. I'm going to stand this upright, try and roll it down the trench. If this thing is stiff, I don't think I'm going to get too far without machinery. But if it's a bit loose because of the warmth, I might be fortunate enough to get it. So far, so good. Hey. <laughs> It did look like it's working. Let's see if it keeps going. Alrighty. -o. So what's happening is the outside roll seems to be running short. So I have to give it an unravel just to get it back on spot. So I want it to be sitting underneath the roll. So I want this sitting underneath the roll. Something like that. Need one more thing to make this work. Let's see if this theory cuts it. I wouldn't want to try it this way with more than say, 300 feet, 100 meters. Not on your own anyway. Another tip when laying poly pipe for a water tank, irrigation or anything like that, and you're on a slope, make sure there's no ups. You can go down, you can go level, but don't go down and up because what you end up is an air pocket. And you might bleed that line out perfectly but experience has shown air does get in. Once you get air in that pocket, you lose your flow or at least a considerable pressure. Always continuous downhill or level. Don't go back up and down. It defeats the purpose. Yeah, looks like it's working. Just tighten up this loop a bit because that's definitely helped. Ew. Mate, check it out. I'm happy. It looks like every now and then I give it a little spin.
check out the progress so far. Not bad, eh? What appears to be over halfway. The harder part will probably be the end bit. Let's keep rolling, rolling, rolling. What do you reckon? Come all the way down, simply rolling it through the channel. And with just one person, it hasn't been too bad at all. Even with machinery there, and I've seen plenty of videos of people lying on the ground and using a tractor and unraveling it on a stump, pulling it up. I've seen people who have strung it between two trees and then unwound it and pulled it with a bit of machinery. But in the end, you don't have to have machinery to roll out polypipe. Two people, maybe three, piece of cake. You can do it too. Anyway, in here, I'm going to put a junction box or a tap box. So I'll put a T piece in with a tap and I'll just bung it off temporarily for now. That's for our future shelter down the hill there. And then after the T piece, I'm going to have another tap for the shack. Now it might seem like overkill having a tap here and a tap there when I've got a tap there. But once we've got our shelter up and running, we don't want water pressure down there all the time. It's just another failure point. So being able to turn this tap off and just direct one direction or the other or both gives us the flexibility and the security in knowing there's one less failure point down the track. Okay, I've got a tap there that can fail, but I've got to have a T-piece anyway. So if I put it together correctly the first time, shouldn't be an issue. Who wants to be Usain Bolt when you have a major failure on your tap and have to sprint 100 metres up a hill when you might only need to sprint 15 or 20? I like that option. Anyway, let's keep rolling, see if we can finish this off. Having this loop around the pipe, that's a smart move. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Polly pipe is rolling. Rolling, rolling, rolling the pipe. Down the hill we're rolling, successfully unrolling. I am so happy with this trick. Eh? What do you reckon? Let me know if you think this was a smart way, a new way, would you use it or not? And guess what? I have enough pipe for the full length. Yeah! There you go, folks. No machinery needed, just brute force. Two people, it'd be much easier. However, I just showed you a huffy puffy person like me, if I can do it on my own, I reckon most people out there could too. 100 meters, or just shy of 100 meters, 300 feet, rolled in a trench. So there you go, success. It worked. Hopefully you've learnt a new way to unroll polypipe when you don't have the luxury of some machinery to help you. Because I just showed it can be done. If one man can do it, two, three, four, no problems. I reckon there's a lot of ladies out there that could do it no problems too. Will it succeed?